An update on what's coming next to that area. Anavid? That's right. Thank you, Amy and Owen. Pedestrians and cyclists and drivers can expect improvements to come soon. The city's planner tells me they worked hard to improve the intersection where Bagby, Smith and Holman all come together underneath the Brazos Bridge for this type of active transportation. The plan is to rebuild the Brazos Street Bridge on the Spur 527 located in the Montrose Midtown area in the coming months. The goal for the Bagby Holman Smith Street intersection underneath that bridge is to make it safer. You're kind of blinded sometimes when you come through here. Because right now, residents say it's not. The cars really do race down here. Whether getting around by bike, foot, or car, the city of Houston says they're confident it can happen, both comfortably and safely, working on signal timings, improving curbs, and safer crossings. As long as they make the improvements um, bicycle friendly, that's all right with me. Bikers and pedestrians should look forward to a safer route, including more curb ramps and a lot more space for pedestrians to wait in between lights inside Bagby and Holman, just east of Hawthorne. But first, they got to rebuild the bridge. Crews are out there already working on that, and that'll take them several months. The whole the whole project is supposed to wrap up by the end of the year and be open in, in early 2021. 20, uh, an update for drivers. The southbound turning lane from Smith onto Holman will also be removed at this intersection because not a lot of people use it anyway. And Ian also told me more than several hundred people walk and bike through this intersection every single day. So these improvements are vital as it serves as the main connection for people walking and biking between Montrose and Midtown. Owen and Amy. Yeah, popular way to get around these days. Yeah. So thank you, Anna V. Do appreciate yeah. it.